heart of the perfection of Wisdom Sutra. I prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time. The Bhagwan was dwelling on Massa Vulture's mountain in Rajagriha together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time the Bhagwan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aya Avalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then, through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aya Avalokiteshvara How should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aya Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Sharadvatiputra. Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this, correctly, and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty, emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form, form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore, in emptiness there is no form, no feeling no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odour, no taste, no object of touch and no phenomenon. There is no eye element and so on up to and including no mind element and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance and so on up to and including no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of Nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly, completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequaled, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering should be known as truth since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. Tadyada gade gade para gade para sangade ya bodhiya swa. Tadyada gade gade para gade para sangade ya bodhiya swa. Tadyada gade gade para gade para sangade ya bodhiya swa. Shariputra. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagwan arose from that concentration and commended the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aya Avalokiteshvara saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage. It is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom just as you have indicated. Even the Tathagatas rejoice. The Bhagwan having thus spoken, the Venerable Sharavadiputra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aya Avalokiteshvara, 
and those surrounding in their entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, Asuras and Gandavas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagwan. Tadyata gate gate para gate para sangate yabodhiya swa. Tadyata gate gate para gate para sangate yabodhiya swa. Tadyata gate gate para gate para sangate yabodhiya swa.